Ciao, ciao, ciao. Connection. Hello, ciao. It seems that I am live now. Today I try to broadcast from the PC, so I hope you cannot. Okay, now the light is clear, it's much more clear. <laughs> so I hope today the, uh, you don't hear the sound in the background. And it's very difficult for me because I see me reverse it. So what is in my right goes in the left. So I'm a little bit confused, but it's okay. So today we made the famous arancini with the pumpkin. Anyway, it's squash. I use squash for this. So if you can, okay, I don't see any comments. <laughs> I see that there are people live, but I don't see any comment, please write it down if you can hear me better than the last time. Anyway, we can start immediately. I have made uh, a, a pre-step, let's say. So, the uh, squash. Hey, Jennifer, ciao. <laughs> so, okay, I can see the comments. Ciao, Dana. Ciao, ciao, ciao. So, it's a little bit different the uh, the camera, but anyway. So I want to show you what I have done before, and I hope the uh, quality of the video is okay. So I show you directly. This comes from the oven. Now is uh, let's say um, cool it, hmm? and I have cut it. Show you. I will show it. The pumpkin in uh, in small square, in small pieces like this. I've put also a little bit of garlic, salt, that's all. And then in the oven, okay? It stayed in the oven for 25 minutes at almost 200 degrees. No oil, nothing. Just close it in this way, okay? Just close it, as I show you, like a... a caramella like a candy okay and then close it in this way hmm? so this was the pre-step that I have made then first of all so <laughs> ciao Rita you're awake butternut squash Jennifer yes 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 we can hear you yes super so we put everything we start and we put everything here so, I put you down and let's find a nice, nice way that you can see everything. Yeah, I think it's okay. So, we start egg. Start with the egg. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. So, and we whisk. Just a bit. Meantime, I put the oil on, on the heat. Then we put our squash inside. Everything, also the garlic, if you like. Of course, the garlic is not uh, um, it's not compulsory if you don't like. But I put because I like. squeeze it inside of the egg we we smash 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 I don't know which is the right word but anyway 
you make it like a puree in the egg. Parmigiano, Parmesan cheese, and then this is ham, okay, ham, cut it, they put everything together, they continue to mix everything, of course also ham is not compulsory and you can also uh, substitute of course with speck or pancetta or what you like uh, together similar to ham as flavor so now we have rice this is this i have cooked yesterday so it's a uh, cold and uh, completely completely drain it okay so I will put together let's see so let's mix and we'll see if it's enough you have a thick mixture mix mixture <laughs> and you mix it carefully everything all the ingredients so so must be quite thick let's say And then we add also this is breadcrumbs just a bit and of course with this you judge also the thickness okay it must be thick and it is <laughs> if you can see I don't know if you can see the thickness is look doesn't <laughs> stick uh, completely stick is uh, sticky to the to the uh okay uh tablespoon <laughs> wasn't coming the word <laughs> anyway so if you have any question anyway as always do it so now we start to make uh, the arancini so with a spoon, let's say you take the quantity of a tablespoon, you put in your hand with a little bit of bread, breadcrumbs, and you make like a bowl, make a hole with your finger, you put mozzarella inside. And then you close it and you roll it in the breadcrumbs a bit. So and then we fry, okay? We made uh, a 
from the middle, mozzarella. The mozzarella that I'm using is the one uh, uh, that you you find in um, not in the water. Okay, this is not in the water. And of course, you can substitute this also with. Um, uh, uh, how do you say the other kind of cheese uh, that doesn't melt uh, so much anyway? So, wash my hands just one second. Meantime, I put on the, the oil. We make another one and then we can start to fry. So we make three together. Of course you can feel in your hands if it's too wet, just make it this way with the breadcrumbs. Make a whole side piece of cheese and you close again. And then you roll it in your hands. Okay, must must be not bigger than this. Okay, otherwise it takes too much to fry. <laughs> anyway, this is the best uh, measure I always found. Okay, so. I think we can start to fry meantime that the oil goes in temperature. If you have any question, please write. And uh, now I show you. So, what I use is a thermometer, okay? So, I put the arancini in the oil, I move you, when we are at about 180 Celsius degrees, and I will tell you how much is in Fahrenheit, because this shows also Fahrenheit. Okay, so I move you, <laughs> I move you, I hope you can see, so just So in this moment, oil is, ah, it's already too much. <laughs> it's already too much, uh, 250. So it has to go down. So we wait just one second. <laughs> just a bit to let it go down. In the meantime, if you have any question, write it down. Wait. Ciao Dorothy. Ciao Anna, <laughs> ciao. Perfect view. Yeah, I hope the, also the uh, the quality because in this moment I'm broadcasting from the PC because I had in the last two uh, two live I had you know problems with um, with live because it was like uh, raining sounds be behind and. I didn't know what it was because my mobile seems okay if I make videos with a normal camera and any case maybe is before because of the updates Facebook updates because they are doing in this moment there are so many uh, updates continuously every day and also in the group in the let's say in the admin part I have to switch to different let's say in different um, versions and uh, so it's a little bit tricky in this moment I think it, I hope it will be <laughs> good soon you need to come to New York and get a TV show on Food Network <laughs> oh Rita thank you I will come to New York one day is it in my plan <laughs> any case let's check let's check It 
it's funny because sometimes we have to wait that the oil is get uh, uh, hot and now we have to wait that it cools down a bit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't want to burn our lovely arancini. In the meantime, I think we can make another one. But what is important, what is important is that when you cook arancini, don't cook so many together because at the end, all the ingredients are cold. So um, otherwise they put down too much the temperature. So, so this could be not good so <laughs> just uh, take in mind uh, to cook uh, just a few at a time to maintain uh, almost okay the temperature ciao zazzirai buongiorno rosanna <laughs> and i love this <laughs> let's check the oil check the oil mm -hmm. mm, still quite hot let me see because i also use the this uh, wait uh, wash my hands i also use the this one to check the oil you put inside if it, it yeah but I think it's okay now yeah I should I hope you can see I make you closer so if we, if we put inside mix bubbles it's ready so it's starting now to make bubbles let's see my lovely thermometer seems it's hot i saw it's fermented Okay. <laughs> you know what's set in Fahrenheit. <laughs> That's why I say that. It's too much. Okay. Pazienza! Patient every time! My daughter goes to school from film production directing. She can film your show. It will be the test test. Yes! <laughs> Rita, I'm ready. <laughs> if you want, uh, we can collaborate. <laughs> Goes to school for film production. This is perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Let me know how we can organize. <laughs> Janine. Ciao, Janine. Ciao, Marta. <laughs> oh Glenna, you are all so nice. <laughs> the Herman Chow from Alaska. <laughs> Sorry, so as always, when you will rewatch the video to cook it, <laughs> just uh, ciao Tina. Just cut this moment you have to go over five, i think five minutes to get the oil ready <laughs> soon ready soon ready sorry because it was set at fahrenheit that's why i said it's not possible yeah we can we can go we can go. So it's, uh, I tell you how much is in Fahrenheit when it's a temperature. Uh -huh. Yeah, 
is uh, 330. So off we go and we go with our arancini. So not, I would suggest uh, not more than three, four at a time. Of course, this is small, but don't put so many, otherwise the oil temperature goes down. You get them brown. That's all. That's all. It's very, at the end, it's very easy. I hope you can see nicely. I think it's okay. I wish I could reach through to get taste. You may. <laughs> what are ways do you make arancini beside pumpkins? So wait, I will tell you then when the arancini now I want uh, to finish and to be, let's say, there. So the temperature I regulate at eight. My fire goes, you know, from one to nine, and in this moment is at eight because I don't want it goes to the highest temperature because it has to stay around 180, 190, no more. Okay, so must be balanced in this way. So you have to take, uh, let's say, to train <laughs> for this. Because I want that, of course, uh, mozzarella inside melt. So I don't want to, that they get brown immediately. So we fry just a little bit more.
the the question Glenna uh, this this dish the arancini is typical from South Italy mm -hmm. and of course here is not in our tradition okay it's more in the south and it's not used that we we make them but I wanted to make it for you uh, to have an additional let's say option for our uh, let's say appointment m m pumpkin Monday so this is why I did but they are any case delicious it's not something that we do so often or we do in some for some for Christmas or let's say usually okay it's something that we do very very seldom and anyway what I like a lot is when to do it with spinach or with kale also I like okay but anyway you can make it with other kinds of vegetables you can also make with um, pepperonis uh, paprika yeah bell peppers bell peppers are like so all vegetables that they are nice to be uh, let's say cook it you can do it okay not cowley lace cauliflower or something like that I don't know if someone else does it but I like it with kale I like it with spinach and um, zucchini and bell peppers and also you can do it also with uh, eggplants they are so good so good with eggplants and inside you can use any kind of cheese that is uh, can melt but not uh, let's say something like uh, you know the mozzarella that uh, melt uh, uh, fast that is in the water this is the mozzarella as I told you before that comes uh, where is the camera that comes uh, in in not in water so these are used so I I would love to <laughs> to open with you but the, uh, they are still hot so wait uh, I try but uh, maybe they are too, too hot inside I try Yeah, where's the camera? Here inside. The camera is here, okay? So yummy, yummy. So yummy, yummy. So good. So, if you have any question, write it down as always, and then. Uh, I finish to cook them, I eat, and then I write down all the ingredients for you. And you can make it. They are quite... I can smell the taste. I can smell... It's good. <laughs> it's good. So, ciao ciao. Till, uh, till super very soon. And buon appetito. Have a nice day. Good night, I don't know wherever you are, and we see you soon. Ciao! And write it down if the video, let's say, was quality video, you were able to see nicely. Because also for me, it's, it's better. I see better the camera, I mean, it's, it's wider, so I can understand if the, let's say, if it's fine on the ingredients or somewhere else. So, even if I'm... Uh, mm. <laughs>